Hello everyone, welcome back to our Ask K-Pop Entertainment. Nice to meet you on today's journey to the animation world of Studio Ghibli. Did you know that after the movie My Neighbor Totoro, the character Totoro was a huge hit in 1988, overwhelming every single movie that Studio Ghibli had produced before. However, the Mononoke character in the movie Princess Mononoke gave a good impression on viewers when it was released in 1997. Studio Ghibli's stories always give people a haunting message about the environment. They always hide behind those stories, treat nature well, and take care of it, because it is gentle, vulnerable, and needs our protection. Princess Mononoke movie is not an exception when the theme of nature and humans is emphasized thoroughly and convincingly. Produced in 1997, the movie Princess Mononoke wrote a tearful indictment of vast destroyed forests for human development and foresight of nature's vengeance. Several movie sites translate the title of the film as Princess Wolf. Such translation according to the movie's content is not really wrong, but compared to the original Japanese name, it is a little different. Mononoke is not only a name, but also it is a common name in Japanese that means ghost or monster. The movie is set in vast and mysterious forests mixed with many magical elements at the end of the Muromachi period, 1392 to 1572, where guns gradually replaced swords, the dominance of samurai weakened to the point, turned them into bandits. At this time, Japanese people in particular, and humans in general, had a sense of conquering and exploring nature with their strength and intelligence. However, indiscriminate exploitation has made nature angry, many times inflicted disaster on humans. Although it is an animation for children, the most suitable audience of Princess Mononoke is probably adults and teenagers. The problem the film mentions is also a hot issue of all time, protecting the ecological environment. This message is strongly expressed through the details of the movie Princess Mononoke. Besides, there are details that make you unable to stop thinking about after watching the movie. Don't make you wait any longer, and now let's take a look at Ask Pop Entertainment, through 10 most impressive details in the movie Princess Mononoke. The Shinto Elements Behind Princess Mononoke All natural Shintoism is not something Hayao Miyazaki came up with, it comes from the basic Japanese culture. Shinto often is said to be a religion, but it is not a religion coming from Western culture. Shinto is more precisely defined as the Japanese folk religion, made up of local mythology and connected to some basic element. They are such as earth, water, wind, fire. In Shinto, nature does not exist for people to conquer, nature is where people step out. And this can be seen as a way of life in accordance with nature's operation. Nature is the sacred basis for human existence. All creatures and everything in nature are sacred, and so man must strive to be in harmony with nature. These photos are from the Yakushima forest located on the southernmost coast of Kagoshima. This is a movie forest that inspired and built up natural paintings in Princess Mononoke. And since watching the movie, there are people who come here not only to enjoy the dreamlike paradise of Yakushima, but also a journey of spiritual discovery, praying for good things. So when Buddhism was later introduced to Japan, the forest worked well with the Shinto ideas already there, and they coexisted peacefully. This is a meditation garden, and Buddhism was born and developed based on the principles of Shinto. However, the invention of technology has somewhat affected nature. The essence of technology isn't bad, but we have used it in a way that benefits only ourselves and is destructive to others. Specifically, in the movie, humans have used modern weapons to attack creatures and their homes. Before that, both Castle in the Sky and Nausicaa the Valley of the Wind told about conspiracies, where the real threat of technology is that people use it to gain power over others. And that's why when we come to Princess Mononoke, the curse of the movie is a human curse, and it comes from the gods being attacked with technology created with the aim of destruction. Destructive technology is inconsistent with the principles of Shinto. Detail 2, the Nago Boras in the suckling village of the Emishur tribe, a monster from the forest is entering the village. Prince Ashitaka, after seeing closely, understood that the monster was actually a forest-keeping god named Nago. Nago is in the form of a giant pig, but for some reason followed by a swarm of black worms, causing him pain to go mad and attack the people with a bluff. To protect the tribe, 
Prince Ashitaka kills the god, but because of that, his arm is cursed by the god. The image of Nago roaring with thousands of black worms wriggling tightly on his skin will make viewers' stomach tighten. Miyazaki hates computers, hates 3D technology, he hand-painted every single frame. The worms, as known as demons, appeared for a few minutes, but when watching the movie, everyone understood that it took a lot of time to draw by hand. Hayao Miyazaki's movie is always lively and attractive in every frame. The first frames of the movie were truly a masterpiece. I am sure you will be caught up in these impressive details. Do not go anywhere, let's go to the third impressive detail. The character Eboshi and Feminist Manifesto In this cartoon, you will meet the obsolete samurai, meet the forest spirit, powerful gods, even strong, brave women who speak feminist. That is Ms. Eboshi, the owner of the Iron Town. She is a beautiful, cheerful, fierce woman, who is cutting the forest to get fuel to cast weapons, and use cannon bullets to kill the forest spirit, driving her crazy. According to the author, Eboshi is a woman with an unhappy past. She represents people, with Iron Town representing civilized industry. For her, nature must serve people, have the duty to make human life better. That's why Eboshi and his escort often go to the forest to burn trees for land to make iron mines. Conflicts with the forest also arise. One might think that Eboshi is a bad person, but in fact Eboshi is the embodiment of humanity. Tough, ambitious and cautious, Eboshi is a testament to the author's feminist tendencies. Eboshi is also a character who has a kind heart, when he has brought people with leprosy, giving them homes and jobs. What makes Eboshi evil is because she has no respect for nature. She does not understand and despise the power of nature, of the god of the forest, so it puts her in danger, and comes at a very high price. But that is why she realizes that human greed is a curse that leads to hatred in the world, and we admire her more as she resolves to rebuild the Iron Town at the end of the movie. The Role of Ashitaka In this movie, Ashitaka is a prince, a hero, a cursed man. A person is pushed out of his own community, and has to search for the antidote alone. The details of him cutting his hair, and giving up his position in the tribe, made him hair-breaking. Ashitaka was built to be the typical main actor of Ghibli talented, courageous, and with an infinite heart of tolerance. Remember the battle in Iron Town, when Ashitaka was hit in the stomach by a stray bullet, he still had the ability to stop the fight of two women, even having the power to open the portal to Liberation Sans life. That is the act of a true hero. The Historical Context of Princess Mononoke The film is disguised and set in historical context, but it resembles films expressing contemporary times. And that's why, the movie takes place during the Miramachi period. Hayao Miyazaki is looking for a period in Japanese history that best coincides with the period after World War II. When sweeping changes in society began, but there was still a lot of turmoil and chaotic forces in battle. And he chose this period because it is also the time making us ask the same questions as the after World War II period. Should we adapt to modern technology? Are these changes too fast? Do we have time to think about what we're losing? Then we have the question of social inclusion. Which groups do we support? What groups do we allow into society? Who do we push towards whom? Who do we accept? Are we giving disadvantaged groups a better way of life? Like the women working in the iron workshop once wounded by their low status, ransomed by a boshi from the brothel. The bandaged people are said to be lepra, indifferent and alienated by society. The role of the tree spirits, the Kodama. Kodama is a small spirit, in large numbers, living in the mysterious forest of Princess Mononoke work. Kodama reflects the soul of life as the battle between man and nature evolves. The name Kodama means carpentry spirit. It forms a human body with white skin and light gray eyes, often inhabiting the ancient trees of the forest. Kodama's life is closely related to the tree in which they reside. If the tree dies, the Kodama living in that tree will disappear. When someone dares to cut down trees with Kodama in them, instead of flowing out normal sap, the tree trunk will shed a blood-red resin. As long as an old Kodama tree is cut down, the whole nearby village can be hit by the curses and harsh punishment of nature. Unlike demonic spirits or witches, Kodama is very gentle, cute, with a spinning head that makes cheery and friendly calls to anyone who values them. 
In Princess Mononoke they once helped Ashitaka out of danger. The Forest Spirit, the Shishigami Shishigami or Spirit of the Great Forest is the most powerful figure in the movie. Shishigami has two shades during the day, he is a golden deer with a large horn and a human face. Night, he looks like a giant spirit called Daitorobachi. The only moment Shishigami can be killed is when it transforms between the two kinds. Furthermore, if the Shishigami does not return to its original form by the time the first sun comes out, he will die. Where the Shishigami goes, the flowers under its feet will bloom there, but these flowers will die soon. It healed the bullet wound on Ashitaka's chest, and at the same time took the life of Moro Akoto. Near the end of the movie, Iboshi shot off Shishigami's head, causing the beast to become enraged into something like a substance that surrounded a tatarigami, dried up the entire vast forest and killed anyone it touched. Jiko took its head away, and was chased by it. Ashitaka and San personally snatched them away, and returned the head to Shishigami. As a result, Shishigami, after receding the head, died when the sun rose because she could not return to her original form. However, thanks to its sacrifice, the curse on Ashitaka, and San's hands, cursed when she tried to awaken Akoto, when it turned into Tatarigami, was cured, the withered forest regrows new green sprouts, moonlight and theme song. The scene was shown with the Wolf Princess Mononoke theme song. With a deep and painful melody, we wonder if it was the sound of San's heart, when he first took care of a human boy in a human way. There was a deep tear in the wolf girl's heart, a question of ego when touching her fellow man. Who is Princess Mononoke? Sand is the real name of Princess Mononoke. This princess could not be said to be very wild, strong, brave, and extremely stubborn. She is against humanity, she looked very fierce, but not stupid or stubborn. When she first met Ashitaka, she didn't bother to start a conversation, she just shouted get out. The significance of Princess Mononoke's mask. And the key to her is the mask. It is meant to represent something truly ancient, the earliest form of Japanese art, mystical clay figurines used for ritual and religious purposes, dating back anywhere from 300 BC to 12,000 BC. Therefore, in the eyes of the humans in this film, she is the emissary, she is the representative of the forest gods and spirits. Final details, the parting of Ashitaka and Mononoke at the end of movie. To me the scene of Ashitaka and Mononoke breaking up is the best scene in the movie. The two of them love each other, but cannot walk together because they do not share the ideal. Mononoke represents the forest, the soul of the forest, always and always will be. She hates humans, but she loves Ashitaka. Ashitaka represents human goodness, he treasures the forest, he doesn't support people, but he believes they deserve a second chance, he is willing to help them, as he is willing to help Mononoke, when he promises that he will visit her often. A beautiful but unsuccessful love, very real and touching viewers. They are all great people, so they need to do great things in this life. Once again, through those impressive details, the film has conveyed a profound message. The movie brings viewers curiosity and excitement by the details, but also does not forget to remind us of a very practical message that is to cherish nature, protect nature. The movie mentions that people over-exploiting resources make the forest gods angry, which can also be understood as angry nature. In modern life, we are invading and losing the balance of nature. As the days pass, we have been witnessing the consequences of the greenhouse effect, climate change, El Nino, or rising annual temperature signs that continually break records in human history. All have been caused by your unconscious actions. Of course, we live in nature so we have to exploit them, but don't squeeze them out. There should be a way for us to live in harmony with nature, because it needs the understanding and practical action of all people in the world. Protect the environment and resist negative changes of the Earth's climate. Princess Mononoke is not a movie for children, 
It is aimed at teenagers and adults, because of the movie's own educational and propaganda messages. Even if we spend a lifetime watching this movie, we cannot find all the meanings hidden inside each of the artist's delicate strokes and movements. Through 10 really impressive details of Ask Pop Entertainment listed above, how do you feel? If you have ever seen Princess Mononoke, will you feel the same way as us? Leave a comment below to let us know. That's all about 10 most impressive details in the Princess Mononoke movie. See you in our next videos. Bye bye.